Operational definitions are important for accurate data collection. They ensure that anyone observing a behavior can decide if the behavior occurs or not. If the definition of a behavior is vague, people won't know which behavior they're observing. In this example, the definition of crying is any instance in which Justin begins to cry. Tantrum is defined as any instance in which Justin cries or screams. And the definition of flopping is any instance in which Justin falls to the ground. Given these definitions, three different people could think they are observing three different behaviors. This definition is much longer, but more precise. Here, crying or screaming is defined as any instance in which Justin engages in a vocalization louder than is used for communication for longer than three seconds, during which time he may or may not produce tears. Examples include loud vocalizations accompanied with tears when presented with a task demand and loud vocalizations not accompanied by tears when told he could not have the iPad. Non-examples include Justin laughing or giggling, crying as a result of hurting himself, screaming for help, and crying during the first 15 minutes after drop-off. The onset of the behavior is 30 seconds of occurrence, and the offset is 30 seconds of non-occurrence. Although you still need a little context to determine if you should count this behavior as crying, you have a much clearer idea of what you're looking for. Now if you see that Justin is told he can't have the iPad and the behavior lasts for longer than 30 seconds, you know you should count this as an episode of crying. If you collect duration data for this behavior, you would start the timer as soon as Justin cried for 30 seconds and stop the timer as soon as 30 seconds passed without any crying. Accurate data collection leads to the best outcomes for learners. Operational definitions are an important step to accomplishing this goal.